Ronald Reagan said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear this wall down. Today's Republicans say, tear down Mickey Mouse's house. And pretty soon they'll be storming Cinderella's castle, you can be sure of it. All we said we wanted Mickey Mouse to pay their fair share in taxes, that's all. Especially if they're going <laughs> to criticize Ron DeSantis. That I don't would... know if Mickey Mouse really did anything here. Yeah, well, it's not yeah. his fault. Ipso facto, Disney, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> So it's all, it's all related. Well, that was President Biden at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Yeah, that happened and nobody noticed. And it was avoid, to avoid getting fact-checked. We didn't, you know, add any of those crickets noises or anything like that. But here to discuss what's actually happening in Florida with Disney is Florida State Representative Joe Harding. Uh, sir, appreciate you being on today. Thank you for having me on. All right. So the Disney bill. This is what I love, sir. So the DHS is now putting a ministry of truth out there to combat disinformation. When are they going to combat the fact that it doesn't say anywhere in this bill, don't say gay? That's right. I mean, it's just, it's, it's so silly. It's also extremely alarming, right? I mean, the reality is only censor information that's bad for us, um, you know, in their mind. And it's, it's, it's really alarming. Yeah. I mean, this is the problem, though, is the left finds something, they latch onto it, and now they've tried to play, now, now they're playing victim. Now that Ron DeSantis has gone in there and just basically ruined all of their narratives, he's won this one, Disney's going to pay, I, I think it's like $200 million more in taxes, now that they're going to have to pay property taxes and things like that. Now the left is playing victim. How can conservatives learn to fight back against stuff like this? Well, first we got to expose the fact and continue to, expose the fact that the Democrats, what they're saying is they are for large corporations getting special privileges. You know, this is the party I thought of Bernie Sanders who used to always say, you know, tax the rich. We need the wealthy to pay their fair share. Yeah. And when all of a sudden now we're having a company that has had special privileges, unlike any other company in the country, just simply pay the same taxes other businesses would pay. Now the Democrats are all up in arms saying, you know, that this is retaliation. Well, this is the same party that you know has cried for years. We got to tax the rich, and we got to everybody's got to pay their fair share. It's really uh, hypocritical, and I think that come you know this election cycle, I think that's going to be something you're going to hear a lot of, which is us holding Democrats accountable and make sure their constituents realize that these are the same elected folks that believe that large companies like Disney should get special privileges. And it's just ridiculous. Yep. And, you know, the only reason is because they fund their agenda. The Zuckerbergs, the Bezos of the world fund the Democrats' agenda. And that's what Disney is trying to do as well. Mm. And so now they want to come out and defend them. Well, yeah. sure. We've seen time and time again how all of this was connected. And I do think it's yeah. funny that you're mentioning you know, the whole idea of tax the rich. As we know, Disney is a right. huge company, and they also own many other companies underneath here. But Representative Harding, when it comes to the Reedy Creek Improvement District, we kind of know Disney is expected to fight this in court. What do you think is going to happen going forward if they do fight this in court? Are they going to win that battle? And if they do win, does anything change? Well, I would just look at the recent track record of Disney. You know, this is a company that came out and first said that they are going to stay out of this issue, right? When when we ran on my bill on parental rights, we said you know, Disney came out first and said they're going to stay out of it. Then they said, well, we'll get involved, we'll issue a, a statement. And then, and then they escalated it to the point of saying that they were going to work to repeal my bill on parental rights and education, which what that means is they would be working to defeat people like myself from office. And so they have a track record of this process. They've lost in this game of chess every time. You know, the media said that uh, DeSantis wouldn't sign this bill because Disney was going to fight it. So Disney's been wrong on every step. I expect <laughs> them to fail again on this front, and we will prevail, and ultimately they'll pay their fair the, share. The best was, though, that they were like, Disney's going to leave. We're going yeah. to Georgia. It's like, didn't you guys just boycott Georgia over their voting well, laws like a year ago? Not only that. I mean, where else are they going to get the kind of land needed to have yeah. a Disney World? I mean, that property is massive. Huge. But Representative Harding, right. you know, you just mentioned how they said they were going to stay out of it and then they came back into it. Do you think this is also a message that states and politicians can give to corporations to stay out of politics? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, private businesses do what you want, how you want to run your business. But once you have you meddle into, you know, a very common sense issue and frankly, in Disney's case, you declare war on America's parents by saying that that you're going to retitle a bill with an agenda that was put out by the woke left and in essence, make yourself an enemy of parents, which is what Disney did. You know, if, if to private companies, that ought to send us a really loud message, just stay in your lane. 
um, lawmakers will stay in our lane and, and focus on our constituents and the betterment of them. But once you declare war on parents, you know, I hope there's more elected officials like myself as a parent that will stand up and fight back and yeah. simply just say, we're not going to allow that to happen. And we've seen parents fight yep. back, whether it's Disney, whether it's what they're learning in schools. Well, but ha fighting. hell hath no fury when you awaken those who just wanted to be left alone. Florida State Representative Joe Harden, keep up the good fight, sir.